I'm Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. We're here at this gorgeous NoHo7 theater here in Hollywood, California. We're here celebrating the premiere of so many amazing films. There are 31 films opening here today, including Toy Story 4 and Child's Play, and 29 short, remarkable films that also have an opportunity to actually get entered for the Oscars, for the Academy Awards. How amazing is that? That this awesome place is giving a platform for filmmakers. It feels like the dream is just so close to these filmmakers. You know, you're just one step away and we're so excited to be here today, including the filmmakers at RNF's Maturing Youth, which is actually screening here today. And not only is this an opportunity for the filmmaker that's just beginning, this is also opportunities for filmmakers and Broadway producers and authors of amazing creations of illustration and poetry and story and wow, there's just so much talent in there tonight. I can't wait to get in there and interview these guys. We'll have an opportunity to talk to Derek Quick of Four Walt Distribution Company. So guys, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Hi everyone, this is Janet Miranda coming in with News and Entertainment. I'm here with this gorgeous woman. She's not just a regular woman. She's a filmmaker, dancer, storyteller. Well, I may be saying too much before we even introduce you, so tell the world, what's your name? I'm Trisha Brooke, and it's so great to be here with you, Janet. Oh, it's so great to have you here, Trish. Tell us about your film. It's about Justin Von Boydish, who is the chaplain at Rikers Island who teaches meditation to the corrections officers. Amazing. And I was reading about him in a magazine, and I thought, I have to make a movie about this person. What he's doing is so incredible. Amazing. So I reached out to him on social media and found out he lived in Brooklyn, and I'm from New Brooklyn. York City. Brooklyn! So I reached out to him, and I said, can I take you to coffee? Nice. And we had coffee, and we talked about the Buddhist practice and the culture, and I met his family and his kids and wow. they make biscuits on Sundays. They make biscuits on Sundays. So they're I mean, like real biscuit makers. Yeah. Those are like the real soul like loving people. Yeah. Right livelihood in the Buddhist culture means you are ending suffering while you are making a living. And that's what Justin does every single day. And that's, that's what I want to do as a filmmaker is show the world what amazing people are doing. I want the CEOs to be able to understand that there's a tremendous amount of range in how we react and even whether we react and to what degree we react in any given situation. And even though I'm an optimist, I'm not unrealistic. The art of it, I think, is that balance between um, just saying, oh, well, tomorrow's going to be another day where there's going to be less suffering. Like, tomorrow's going to be the same day on Rikers. Making a difference in the world. I mean, how does that feel to just really go out into the world and make a difference? It's a conscious choice. I literally wake up every day wanting to make a difference in the world. So you're definitely aware and awoke yourself. I, I like to think that I am, yes. And I work very hard every day to, to be awoke. Well, let's talk, let's talk about that a little bit. What do you do as a filmmaker to stay awoke, to make sure that you're relevant in this world? I'm consciously and constantly thinking about how we can lift up other people. Yes. Uh, there's, there's so much pushing down, and if we can lift everybody up, and it's easy. Being kind is easy. It is. Being angry takes energy, so let's just it's be kind. It's draining. Being angry is so draining. For you and me, though. True. Not for folks who are used to that repetitive behavior, but I'm sure that, you know. It's a choice. It is. It is a choice. And it's your choice to make the kind of films that you're making through your art to heal people in spirit and to tell the stories of these incredible legendary human beings out there yeah. who are also making a difference and an impact on the world. That's right. That's just amazing. And that's, How proud are you? I'm so proud and I'm so proud of Justin for going to work every day because it is not easy. No. And he is going to work every day and he's teaching meditation to the corrections officers and he is contributing in a way that makes a difference. Yes, amazing. And so you made this story and you got this into film festivals. So tell us a little bit about that. It was incredible when I got the call from Derek that the film won Best Documentary. It was incredible. But it was on my vision board, I have All to right. say. The artist way. <laughs> yes. You got it. I got specific. I was Best Documentary Short. 
And so it, the film's been doing really, really well, and I do believe it's because of the subject. I think that the content is important, and I, I do know how to tell a story, and Justin is engaging, and I'm super excited for, for the world to see this. Oh my God, guys, you have to stay tuned to actually watch this woman's work. I can't wait to watch it on, like, like in 10 minutes, right? It's on the minutes, block yeah. in 10 minutes. Yeah. That's just incredible. Once again, where can they find you? TrishaBrook.com. That's T-R-I-C-I-A-B-R-O-U-K.com. And we are at NewsInEntertainment.com. I'm Janet Miranda, your host. Stay tuned. What are you waiting for? If you want the scoop on news and you want all the juicy stuff, subscribe. Follow us. The links are below. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. And you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news and entertainment.